Oh, <laughs> God! Hello, I'm green. I'm purple. That was a bad way to start off. I got crushed. Um, okay. If you forgot, at the end of last yesterday's episode, we had a conundrum. And the conundrum is, if I just magically turned into a woman overnight, and then Caleb became attracted to me, what would we do? Like, how could we continue... How could we continue being friends like we are now if there was that sexual tension between us at that point? And Caleb didn't have an answer at that point, but you said you do, have a, it. you have an answer now, Caleb. What, what would we do? I feel like we could still find a way to get over it and, like... Because, like, you know, obviously, I mean, it's like, it'll be that situation where it's like, there are other fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, I would... I think I would just get over it. But it would still... We'd still have those awkward right, moments. Right, right. Where it's just like, we're hanging out... And then you're just like in my room or whatever, and you're just like, it's <laughs> <laughs> like Caleb, what's wrong? <laughs> but we also, it, like we, I don't know if we we were talking about it more in between episodes, but if we both change genders at the same time, it, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, be a problem. problem because then, well, I mean, we could still be be attracted to each other. Yes, because we still we it still could like still women. be a problem. We would still like women. We're assuming we still would. I mean, I, uh, maybe if our home orange changed, it would change. I don't know. But it could still be a problem then. True. But if neither of us, even if we become women, are attracted to each, I'm saying it like it's a possibility. It's not really a possibility. This could just happen overnight. Right. Oh, I. Anything's technically possible though. If you really want to happen there, I pressed the X button. It didn't work. You were too close to the edge. Watch no. out for cheese man. <laughs> cheese man with the power to eat. To cheese. To cheese. <laughs> it's going to cheese you right in the face. <laughs> it's going to cheese your ass. Look, it's your favorite monster's monster token. Ugh, gross. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I think you have to, like, you get to the end and then you can jump over all of those boats. The bots. No! Oh, that was close. Uh, I saw this story the other day, and it was, um, it had the caption, we found Nessie, Yeah, and I was like, well, this should be interesting. It was like this prop that they had from some movie that was the Loch Ness Monster, Yeah, and they had just abandoned it in a lake, just like out in the backwoods. So, of course, someone just like, is walking around there, and they just see this giant lake monster sticking <laughs> out of the water. They were a little bit confused. I, yeah, I don't blame them. Going down which way? Haha, <laughs> which? It's spelled the wrong way. Not the wrong way. I mean, way. but, you know, the, not the correct grammatic, you know what I mean. Well, it could be correct grammatically if you were going down a street called which way. Why you gotta make us... Why? <laughs> Why? Hi, Tar Monster. His name's Tarmac. What? Uh, have you seen... I watched, uh... I think it was the Super Best Friends play. They were playing the game called Dog Child. Have you oh, seen this? I've seen it. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> but it's, it's, it was fun, partially funded by Sony. Name my help again, do you? Nothing out there but old shipwrecks. Better float like a feather and get out there. Oh, uh, do we need the... We need the umbrella. umbrella. Maybe... Wait, use the warp gate and go back to... Uh... See, now this is where we... Maybe go back to where we had the little... Uh split between where we could go. Where was that? Uh, maybe that one. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, because this one was right before the warp, the <clears throat> the snack gate. Yeah, so go back out. And then we'll try going down the other way. You touched me with your foot. I'm sorry. Caleb. Now we can't be friends. <laughs> it's just because, okay. Now is where we have to go and find out where the game wants us to go. It's like it's like in Zelda whenever you get to like a a rock and it's like you need bombs. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I just realized a little splash effect whenever you hit the water. It's two D. It's not like a three D splash. Oh yeah, it's you're just right. a little two D effect. It's like Excuse in those me. those early three D games where whenever they have trees. They just had a 2D picture of a tree that just rotated, right. depending. What so does it that was remind me of? You. 
I'm trying to think of an example. There was a... You remember that... It was like a horror game built on the Doom engine where, like, you had to survive, like, in this wood or something? Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what it was called, though. Haunted something? Haunted Forest? I There was, like, a... Maybe... I think there was, like, two of them. Yeah. I was, I remember the I remember the creatures. There was, like, a giant skeleton, a, like, freaky face, and then a creepy woman. And when... when didn't it, like, spawn one of them every time? Yeah, at random, and you had to take them all. Oh, sorry! There's one more. There's the, the skeleton, the freaky... Um, face looking thing and then uh, there's like this like goblin looking hmm. thing and then the woman showed up and she was like the final boss oh okay so did you have to like beat all of them to... yeah and they spawned randomly okay but the woman always spawned the last if anyone remembers what that game's called tell us cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it by just typing in <laughs> <laughs> spooky so you know that spooky DOS game with the, the lady that one. Oh, he almost hit it. <laughs> poop. 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 There ah. you go. Oh no. Caleb, give me that Scooby snack. How could you? Give me that... Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your center of gravity isn't touching it. Ah, oh, stupid. You got. Apparently, your head's not in your hit box. Where are you going? Oh, you really want it. I uh, got it. <laughs> gotta want it to get it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta want it to get it. I don't it. even think that's from anything. You said it. My, I know. Oh, okay. Uh, but like, from as in... Oh, like... Uh, it was just from my mind. Oh yeah, we're back where uh, we started, but now that we have the... Uh... Don't be throwing tar at me, you little punk. I mean, he is the tar monster. Right, You're yeah. hating him for being who he wants to be. <laughs> well, I don't like what he's trying to be, so... Fair enough. I don't know if we can actually do anything else here, or just, like, get some extra Scooby Snacks. If this is not where we're supposed to be, we'll figure it out soon. There's See, only this, so many places we this can This is go. why I'm thinking that we're supposed to go to the crypt. But, I don't know how we would get there. I don't think you could get there yet. Because don't you get one of the power-ups from Blackbeard? Yeah. I can't remember which one it is, though. I know I can get these. I know I can get these. Yeah, maybe I know I can get these. You have to jump on this, the loop. The inner tube. What? That inner tube in between it. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Did you get it? We don't hate each other. <laughs> Stupid idiot! Oh, look at that spike. You were just <laughs> spiking the mic today. Yep. Spike TV right here. You have a very booming voice. I would say booming shrill. Shrill today. <laughs> our, our friend Lucas from high school, he had a booming voice. Oh, you used his name! I'm just kidding. I didn't say his last name. <laughs> There's more than one Lucas that went to school at the same time as Seth. <laughs> They're using this episode to like track him down in the future. He's like wanted, and they're like, We got him now. What would he be wanted for? I don't know. He's not the guy I, I'm thinking of that I, I would expect to see, like, on Cops or something no. like that. Okay, so, like, do you think mm -hmm. it's possible that you... Now, I know we've joked around about there's certain people when we went to high school that we could see them being, like, becoming crazy people. Right. But do you think legitimately there's a chance that... Uh, Someday we'll find out one of the people we went to high school with turns out to be like a serial killer or something like that. There is a possible chance that that could happen, yeah. It's kind of freaky to think about. Yeah. But because, I mean, there, there was people we met in high school that were, you know, weird, but then, you know, that's just high school. Right. But it's weird to think that there might be someone that we went to school with that we just thought was, you know, kind of kooky. Well, I remember uh, there was a person that was in our, uh, that was in our graduating a uh, class that uh, he like um, he like tried to rob a Jack in the Box. Oh, really? Yeah. He was. I mean, we didn't know him, but mm. I, I know he was in. Oh our... yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that story now. Yeah, he was in our graduating class. Let's see if there's anywhere else we can go in the hedge maze. Uh... Yeah. Okay, maybe you are. 
Like I said, we can't. We still haven't come to a consensus on whether we can we fight Redbeard first or the ghost first. Good job, but we can't we can't go down there yet, because that down there's where the next part of this level is, and to get into it we have to have the ground the butt slam. You're right. So this isn't where we're going next. Let's see. Okay, so we're not going to the hedge maze because we can't go down because that way is right. like a one way coming back. So. Uh, and the secret passages is also a one way. Okay. And we need the umbrella to get out there. We must have to do something else in the mansion. I think. It's the only thing I can think of. So we went on through there. Can we get down to the basement yet? We can go here. We're figuring things out. And actually, we're going to figure more out next time on Green and Purple. Yeah. All right, let, we'll, we'll gather our wits and figure out where we're going. Bye, everybody. See ya. See ya.